Welcome to the Maryland Mortgage Rate Weekly Mortgage Market Update for the week of March 30th, 2015. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Prime Residential Mortgage, here to give you an update. Well, last week was not kind to Maryland mortgage rates. They did jump higher. Take a look at the bond chart on the screen. You can see the trend had been for mortgage bonds to move higher and interest rates to move lower. But then last Wednesday, giant red candle, bonds sold off, stocks sold off as well. And then Thursday, repeated big red candle, bonds continue to sell off. Finally able to hit a bottom on Friday with the green candle, but we did break the upward trend on bonds. Now the short term trend is for bonds to sell off, but with the green candle on Friday and it looked like we may have found a bottom, we're going to cautiously recommend floating your uh, mortgage interest rate to start the week to see if mortgage bonds can rally from here and move higher. If they switch and start to sell off again, we would quickly switch to a locking stance because there is about another 50 basis points mortgage bonds could, could sell off again to hit another layer of support. So cautiously floating your Maryland mortgage rate to start the week. Now if we dig into the economic news, the big news last week was the release of the gross domestic product with the GDP. The final reading for the fourth quarter of 2014 came at 2.2%. At big drop from the final reading of the third quarter at 5%. And the uh, GDP over the entire year of 2014 was only 2.42%. That's uh, in a six year of an economic recovery, that's very low. That's below 3%. 3% is a sign of a growing economy. So that is part of the reason why the feds have delayed raising their short term interest rates because they still don't have the U.S. economy back on track. And then we saw a report on inflation last week. This, the consumer price index for the CPI for February was up 0.2%. It's a big reversal from January, which is, was a negative 0.7% reading. So the last three readings were deflationary. They were coming out negative. This is the first positive reading. And it was attributed to increase in the price of gasoline at the pump, increase of food and shelter was driving the inflation higher at 0.2%. Um, and then we saw a weak initial jobless claims release on Thursday. It came out 282,000 claims. That was down 9,000 claims from the previous week. And... Um, Initial jobless claims, this was the uh, third week claims in Maine below the 300,000 mark. So that was good news for weekly initial jobless claims. And then in housing, two reports come out in housing. The first one was new home sales for February 2015 were up a whopping 8% from January to 539,000 units on an annualized basis. This report was better than expected in the strongest reading in almost eight years. Now in that report, the median home price of a new home sale was up 4% to $275,500. So a very good report on new home construction. And then we had existing home sales for February 2015 released by NAR. It was up 1.2% from January to 4.88 million units on an annualized basis. Um, sales were up 4.7% on a year-over-year -year basis. So very good report there. Now slightly below expectations of 4.9 million units. And some people in the media made it sound like it was a bad report, but it wasn't. It was a very good report. We're up um, almost 7.5% from last year on home price appreciation. So the median home price for an existing home sales was up to $2,000, $600. That was 7.5% increase. So very good report there. Very strong report on housing from both of those. Now, USDA Rural Development is working on files submitted as of March 17th, that was as of Friday the 27th. So there's a 10 day lag on USDA underwriting files, so you need to plan that when you're writing contracts using USDA rural housing financing in Maryland. And then the local news, the next first time home buyer seminar is this is Wednesday, April 8th, at from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's in Laurel, Maryland at the North Laurel Community Center. And then the next one after that is Saturday, April 11th, from 10 a.m. to noon, that's in Frederick, Maryland at the Urbana. Uh, public Library, and then the next one in Towson is Saturday, April 25th from 10 a.m. to noon at the Baltimore Sheraton North Hotel on Delaney Road. You can register for either one of those events, but give us a call in the office, 410-412-3319 or online, www.MarylandHomeBuyerSeminars.com. Look forward to seeing you guys next week.